Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and I have a new mission for us. I want to see how fast we can get to the rocket because um, I'm kind of kind of itching to start like a, a new mega base series that would be kind of nice. So um, let's see what we can do in that vein, shall we? Now we do, we did we do have a an iron mine and a copper mine. We also have these wonderful. Um, uh, solar panels getting sorted out. Logis the logistics system is going to give us those very, very needed um, chests. Well, needed. Needed for our purposes, chests. But at the moment, I think we can actually proceed to doing purple science and getting that sorted and uh, start getting to the rocket. Okay, we have bots placing this stuff down. Maybe one day. <laughs> one day. One day it'll get there. Okay, we're getting there though. So, right. Yeah, here it is. This is going to be purple science, this section here. Um, oh, and we aren't don't even have it re uh, researched yet. We need this thing first. Okay. Yep, uh, we do need the electric furnaces, that's for sure. And we need this. Uh, hello? There we go. Okay, logistics system, it needs 500 of these various things. And Do we need to just transport some more? Is that what the deal is? Probably. Okay, yeah, we have many now. I wonder if that's the issue, is that we got stuck on, like, no uh, stuff here. Let's go ahead and put in a little box here. Give you these. There you go. And we can now give these these. Nice. Stack inserters are great because as you see, it grabs an entire stack and then puts them on the belt. Now, regular inserters, the fast inserters, I should say, uh, and, and other inserters, all the inserters have an inserter capacity bonus, but these guys, I believe they go up to like four or five, whereas a stack inserter goes up to 13. So it's really good for transferring a lot of material uh, that's needed elsewhere. So this stuff should get started Actually, you know what? I'm going to grab a stack <laughs> and distribute it as well. There we go. So it can at least start doing some stuff. Oh, apparently we're really short of blue science as well. Why is that? Let's find out. It looks like we're short. Let's let's see. Okay, what's happening? Uh, there's no sulfur there's no water. Why is there no water? Uh, looks like the pipe may have gotten cut somehow. Let's see if we can see the problem up here somewhere. This is water. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll put this in and hope the bots get it, but otherwise we'll go and put it in ourselves. Yep, it's going to have to be us. There we go. Okay, that was a problem. So now, that means we should be getting... Yep, there's the sulfur. There is the sulfur indeed. And we are also short of red chips, it looks like, as well. What is the problem with that? Plastic. Okay, plastic, we need to figure out that. So let's go over here. There's one belt going that way, so we'll go this way and get the plastic. And it looks like coal is very short as well. Looks like plastic is getting a little bit better, but it- oh, it's the coal. It is the coal problem, okay. So that means probably we need to find a coal patch. There's one down here that looks quite easy to, to harvest. There's another down here. 74 million, that's lots and lots, isn't it? Um, all right, so let's see if the train has enough material to go ahead and build with us this stuff. Um, just come back, please, home. We can't, I wish we could see the toggle centering. Oh, we can see. Okay, it has a lot of rails. So maybe we can we can do stuff here. Maybe. 
Second one doesn't have any mining stuff in it, so we might need to go get mines. Uh, you know what? Let's see. Let me uh, request miners here. Uh, miners. Let's request like 200. Okay. We'll go ahead and put it to manual mode here quickly. And see... No, we have no miners. We definitely need the bots to bring them to us. Did we get a thing? Oh. Ha! Yeah, we need to do that part. Anyway, they'll bring us more stuff, which is great. So we'll go ahead and put this stuff in the thing and so more bots can deliver to us. But as long as we stand in the orange areas, that means we can get logistics requests, including all these belts and miners and stuff. So they're going to bring us some stuff here. I think anytime there's like a red, uh, yellow symbol, that means it's in the network. Uh, if it's red, it means either your logistics, uh, requests are disabled or it means that, uh, they're, they aren't in the network. So like the, these green circuits, we don't actually have a box for those. So it's important to, to keep that in mind. So bots should be heading to me on mass. Here they are. Looks like I need to come a little bit closer, like here, so they don't have to run out of energy to see me. Let's walk a little bit closer, like right there. And afterwards, they can go get energy. There we go. We have a lot of... Wow, we have... Oh, they stopped up here for energy. That's interesting. We'll stay right in the edge here of the orange zone. That means they can reach me. If I am not in the orange zone, if I'm in the green, they will not deliver to me at all. Let's see, hopefully they're going to refresh my belts as well. We see inserters coming, miners, there's some undergroundies. So hopefully the belts are, there they are, there are the belts. So that's good. But yeah, we desperately need some coal. So we're going to go and get some real quick. Real quick is a good, yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Real quick, it'll be fine. It will be fine. Also, um, because we've had some issues with the switch uh, connecting to the server, because the uh, Framework Blueprint book might be too big, I split the book into two pieces in hopes that that will help. Basically, I put the biggest uh, folders, as in the mall, uh, is going to be in part two. So be sure to grab part one and part two if you are connecting with the switch. Otherwise, I'll have just a single blueprint for PC users and you can get that from my Google Drive. Okay, it looks fine. Um, we don't have a lot of construction bots, but that's okay. We're just gonna set up the station anyway. So we'll just let these guys... Uh, mm, they're taking their sweet time, aren't they? <laughs> After this group, I'm just gonna go. Okay, there we go. We're gonna go now. Take the train to, let's see, where are we going? We're going to go here because we're going to just take this. We're, we'll just take this kind of that way. I think that's the best idea. So I'm going to grab some of the rails and signals and stuff from my train car. That's why I put this stuff in the very first train car is so that I can grab it while I'm en route. I find that to be the most uh, convenient action there or convenient thing to do. So let's get our quick rails book out. Rails quick. Eh. Okay. We'll just put this on manual mode so we can drive this train as we're going along here. And we'll drive slowly as the bots are putting down the stuff. We'll wave hi to the biters. <laughs> yes. I think we can actually put in probably the diagonal next here. Like there or something. Okay, and I'll get out here. And I'm not going to antagonize these biters. Also, I don't think we ever made the defend defender capsules, but those are a good option for people playing on the Switch or, um, or other slow versions of the game, like where you don't have very fast movement, like the... The controller movement is definitely not as fast, even with controller pros. 
um, that have told me, oh, they play a lot of games on the Switch, and yeah, it's about like 70% of the speed that you can get on the PC. So, but I appreciate hearing about that because that's kind of uh, kind of good to hear, like how people who really play a lot with their controllers, like you know, find the controls for the game to be. Okay, how far are we going? Okay, just probably uh, one more. And just keep on driving the train down. And I'll take, I'll do one more diagonal piece here. Because we do need room for the station at the bottom as well. Oh, whoops, we need this one next. I forgot to bring lights, sorry about that. Do we have anything we can bring or we can make? Not really. We have well, we can make 33. That's not a lot though. All right, let's take this down here, something like this. It gives us a bit of space to connect with. See how much better robots are. This is why we rush robots because we love them. And they take care of us and they make our lives much more convenient. I guess I could have just connected those just regular And by having these auto trash things, uh, lets us auto trash like um, things like uh, stone and other stuff. Oh, looks like we have too many electric poles. We will uh, turn off our logistics for now until we can um, put some back in the train. Whoopsies, that's not what I wanted. Wanted this. There we go. So now I'm going to kind of copy well actually we're just going to use a train station wholesale from the uh from the blueprint book and uh, that's going to be easy peasy so here's our mine let's go into the book and say it's going to be rails belted rail outposts we want to have mining we're going to use red belts here i think that's the best thing to do here and oh boy okay looks like we are a little bit too close but that should be actually this should be good right there i think we'll just get the mining uh coming from coming from the side uh okay and that has to be there because it's removing a tree okay there we are all right let's go take the train take the train All right, so this is great. This is kind of great. All the bots putting in stuff. Not many of the bots are working, which is a bit of a surprise to me. Actually, we can get out of the train to get more bots working maybe and put all these requested things down. That will definitely enable us to do more stuff here at once or not, as the case may be. Okay. You guys just want to do that? All right, sure. Okay, now those guys want to put down belts. Hooray. <laughs> Still, only 10 of them are working at a time, and I don't know why. That seems really strange. We have more than 10 items to put down. But yeah, the number doesn't go above 10. Is it the RoboPort? I don't think so. I think the RoboPort can do... 10. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I thought... Uh, I guess it's the RoboPort Mark II that allows you to do 50. Ah, uh, that's my bad. Okay, well, what we're going to do is something different then. What I want to do is put in these RoboPorts, and I'll put all the uh, bots in there. There we go. And we'll put in uh, 40 here. Yep, and then here, let's just get in these things so that we can connect to everything there we go so now these bots have uh, stuff let's put in a couple of these chests like we have before we're going to put in all the belts and we're going to put in a few things of these 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 train stops uh yep power poles those 
inserters. Yep, inserters are good too. Those inserters and mining drills. Let's put in all the mining drills and maybe even the robo ports and boxes so that the bots from the station can actually work on building this station as well. So they're going to get stuff done. I'm going to go ahead and put in the mining blueprint for this. I'll take this uh, power pull out while we do the mining uh, thingy. Raw resources. Mining drills. We're going to do red. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Let's do... Oh, I, I now regret not doing this. But what we'll do is we're going to... We're going to just use this and then we'll use an upgrade planner to upgrade the belts. I think that's the easiest thing to do. Let's start here. Okay. Yep, that's going to go there. Okay, so now I'm going to just upgrade these to this, and that will make it all red belts, which is very, very convenient. And now I'm going to add in a... Yeah, I don't know if that's going to work with that aerobo port there, but we'll see. We will see. So now all we need to really do... Oh, uh, mm, let's unupgrade this, by the way. Uh, you just do shift upgrade planner to remove the, oh, and this is wrong too. No. Nay. Oh, okay. All right, fine. We're going to do this. We're going to do from red or from blue to red. I shouldn't, I should be very more careful about this and from green to blue as well, because we want to make these green. There we go. Oh, and there was an undergroundy there. I was cheap and I took it off. Nope. Blue to red. This one. Okay. There's that one right there. Okay. Anything else needing to be sorted? Wait, why are these blue? That's, that's not right. Ugh, okay. All right, blue to stack. Blue and stack also, um, they're a bit different with function when um, you're talking about, I need to fix that. Okay, um, let me write that down. Okay, let me write that down on my list. I do have a list here. There it is. Okay, so this is the mining station. Um, blue sorters need to be green. Okay, good. That is now sorted. Uh, so those should get going. But when you're feeding the boxes, you really don't need greens. It's expensive. Are we out of stuff? Let me go and get the train. Let's see if there's more on the train, like belts and stuff. We need belts, yes. Maybe more of those, maybe those, and those, and those, and those. And we have no miners. Did I, maybe I should put more railroad track Actually, it looks like we have enough. Um, do we just not have coverage here? Yeah, we don't have coverage. That's the main problem. Let me check the train for uh, RoboPorts as well. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No RoboPorts. It's fine. Anyway, we can work on some of this here and just remove a little bit of the excess in places or not. Let's see. I don't mind doing the braiding here or the... I don't mind doing the flat parts of these belts, like the just the straight pieces. 
The part that I'm not that crazy about is the uh, like doing the balancers and whatnot with all the with all the complicated movements or the complicated uh, things that are better for robots to play. So what shall we say? Mm hmm So this can go away. Remove the dead tree thingy thingies. Oops, I was pressing shift. That weren't the right thing to do. There we go, that's better. Okay, very good. Okay, so can we reach up there with this? Not right now. <laughs> it's not working right now. That's sad. Okay, my bots are doing stuff here. What else can they do? Anything? Not too much. They're just working on it. So what I can do, I think what I want to do is I want to go back to the base and get more roboports. And let the bots uh, just keep on building. Let's go turn around here. Hopefully there we can fix this rail. I'll stop and just do a manual rail. Maybe. I don't have any rails. This is not good. Okay, I'll take uh, rails from the box or, yep. Oh, now, the, now they fix it. Okay, fine bots. All right, let's let them land. I'm not gonna wait for those two. They can come back later. And yes, if you show people that you have disregard for the bots, guess what? People will haunt you on the internet all the time. Go back home, please. There we go. And I don't know if this station got set up properly. Looks like it's not. We need some arithmetic combinators. Let's go ahead and make those. So we need five of those and five of those. And we'll just handcraft those while we're coming back. I'll go ahead and just uh, manually stop the train. Because I really need to get those roboports going on. Do we have any? I'll stand here for now. Um, but I want to see, do we actually have any roboports in a box somewhere? Let's see. Yeah, we do. We have seven of them. So that's going to give us a lot of stuff that we can put back in the train and put, put into the, the crafting section there. So go ahead and turn on personal logistics. I forgot to turn that on. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put in those uh, inserters into the thing and then turn put these back. Oh, no, they took stuff from me. Crap. Oh, they stole it. Dang it. All right, well, now they're going to have to bring it back. It's their own dang fault. That's what I say. All right. Um, and in the future, when we get the logistics um, thingies, what we can do is we can come up with buffer chests and we can have buffer chests have stuff like right here so we can get served immediately from, from the robots. And that's really handy. Okay, so they've taken all the junk. That's fine. And now more junk is incoming. This is great. <laughs> more stuff. Let's see, what we're mainly looking for is the roboports. Actually, I think I would like to have 10 chemical plants on me as well. I'm not going to wait for them, but that's a, that's a nice thing to have on you when you're designing stuff. Same thing with the pumps. Let's see. There we go. And 20 and 20. Sure. I thought there were 50 to a stack, but I am mistaken apparently. Okay. So we are getting some more miners. That's important. So we'll go ahead and fill up on the miners and the belts because we do need both. I believe let's look at, see how they're getting on here at the station. It does look like there are no more belts. So we definitely need more belts. We can, however, set up the coal train. So I'm going to go ahead and walk over to where the coal is going. Let's just make sure we don't. Okay. Everything is fine with the coal. So let's get, um, train here add station 
So you just shift click this and then we're going to shift click this here. We're going to change that name later. So this is going to be empty cargo. This is going to be full cargo. And this one, can we change the name of that station? I'll, I'll do it here. I'll click it here and change it here. This is going to be coal pickup. So we'll just add our little, the little coal symbol. Okay, good. And we can, let's use the fish book. Uh, this is going to trails, uh, fish book. And we want, we're going to place coal cars. Now we should be able to place this ourselves. Yes, there we go. Cause we have our own robots. We don't have to wait for the base to place them. This is nice. And those are all filtered for coal. And I'm going to send this train on its way. Let's go, go to the coal pickup. Uh, okay. We can't go there because <laughs> there's no path. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's take the building train and we'll fix the path. Uh, whoops. No, don't go to the base. Go to here, please. And we're going to just manufacture these rails right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's go back, back. I, whoa. Okay. Don't get killed. Don't get killed. That almost did a, did a bad thing there. Okay. So 400 rails. Let's have those in stock. Oh, I forgot that. Of course the block, the block is there. So we're going to get rails now. Uh, I should have put some of this stuff back in the train. Actually, can I back it up? I can actually back it up. I believe I should be able to, oh, I can't even get in the, the cab of the train. Maybe. Um, but I'm going to turn this onto manual. It is on manual mode. Okay. So go back and we're just going to fill up the train with some useful stuff here. Let's stop the train before this car gets loaded with coal. That would be useful. And I'm just going to go ahead and just load up this train with all the stuff that I have. Um, and then we're going to get more. Uh, in particular, the rails, if the rails are on their way, we can also get other things, but let's see what we can get and just really focus the rails and not wait for everything to get delivered. Uh, how is this doing? 96% looking very good right now. How is blue science? going. Let's see. It looks like again, the red circuits are just, just having a hard time. The plastic is really not getting here at all. I feel like I should divert more plastic here instead of a 50, 50 split, go like a 75, 25 kind of thing. I think that would probably be better. Um, yeah. And here, we could definitely use more, more building prowess over there to get these things finished up and make sure that we get all of that fun stuff going. All right. We are getting some stuff here. We don't have our 400 rails yet, but we do need some more rails. Let's keep on going. There we go. We are getting many, many things, which is great. That helps us load the building train for future endeavors. So that's really good. We're uh, working the mining drills really hard. The poor machine's going to be like, oh my God, I can't keep up. You just asked for 200. I'm not, uh, we're empty. You know, you can really like imagine the poor machines just like suffering onward, but we should have enough rails uh, in the box. I would think, I would hope. We should have, we have 2000 in the box, but for whatever reason, the bots are just not, they're not bringing a whole lot or they're, they're not something. Oh, maybe they're already en route because there's only a hundred or less than a hundred left, 70 or something left. Yep. So that's good. But yeah, this is a good spot to stand. Remember we were standing in a spot where they would reach us and then they would go recharge. That's kind of important. Otherwise you have a pain in the sock situation really. Are we getting any more, we are getting more construction robots. This is actually really good because then we could, we can afford to have more in our inventory. I'm going to go ahead and just put this to infinite for now and allow us to keep more of those in our inventory. All right. So last construction rail or last rails, let's take those. And then we'll go back to the other section there. 
Let's go and let's just go there. Thank you. Yes, train, go, go, go. We're ready. We'll take off logistics right now. So we can uh, put some more stuff in the uh, the boxes for the bots in the base. Yes, many words. So we're going to build the rails first, and then we're going to go and... Actually, should we? Hmm. What I should do is actually go to the base and put in the belts first, I think. Put the belts in here. And then put the bots... Uh, where did they go? Here, here, have some bots. Take more bots with you, and you can work that in, and you now have more stuff to do. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna get all this stuff going, and that will allow us to get our coal train running, which is kind of the, the important part right now. Let's put this on manual mode. Because right now, train is like, no, we don't have a place to go, help. Okay, make sure we turn left here. We just want to finish all of these rails out. We should have more than enough rails to finish all of these things. Should be just fine. There we go. Nice. All right. We get to destroy some of these beautiful looking enemies. You know, some somebody was saying, stop complimenting the enemy. These are really pretty trees. I actually like them a lot. Um, but I'm like, you know, it's okay. Has anybody ever played Lost Ark? You know, the Vicus, for example? She could be described as, as fairly pretty. And yet she's the enemy. So, yeah, don't... You know, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, let's park this here. So now, the other train should be available to go. Let's see, is this one? It is heading to coal, so it did actually recheck. Um, one of the things I'm going to do also here is instead of having this uh, requester chest, what I'm going to do is just do a, um, a feed here from the uh, feed from the line. So are we still out of stuff? Let's see, did we do have a radar? Is that enough? Probably. Looks like it's enough. Do we have enough uh, reach? No, not quite. Almost enough reach, but not quite. Okay, so now we can get this upper part connected. So what I'm going to do here is this one is going to go there into that side because there are less on this side and that will just kind of make up the difference there. Okay, and there, there come our bots. Uh, these also, they should reach to these. I don't know why they haven't put in these miners yet, unless they just don't have enough miners. That could be as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put the miners in the, uh, in the box. And maybe that will get itself resolved. There we go. Miners are in the box. I'm going to take out stuff that is not needed. So these are done, looks like it. And splitters are done. That's probably done. That's done. Okay, and our bots. Oh, it looks like we put the combinators in the train. So let's take those out. Remember, we made some as we came in here. I kind of forgot where they went to. There they go. But I do want to make... looks like we're short maybe one of those combinators. So those need to be put in so that the train station will actually work now. Uh, because it does, it will actually request stuff, but it won't get the request unless we put the request in there. So is this one ready? It is actually ready to go. As you see, it's a full train. With the building train, let's go ahead and go back home. And we will go back to the base and we will add this station. This is the building or one, I think. Let's just rename it. It's going to be building coal one. Coal one. I'll put the coal symbol as well. Okay. And then train. We'll add building coal one. Okay. And then again, five seconds of inactivity. We're going to add that to the, 
the over there. I think that's what we want to do. Let's see. Building coal one there. Then ore one is where? That's here. No. Where is building ore one? Oh, it's that one. It's the iron. Okay, and then solar. Yep, okay. So we need to change this one, I think. We need to change that name because it's uh, ambiguous here. We want to call it or iron or pickup or iron or one. Iron. I hope you guys caught the stream. Uh, we were streaming on Twitch and I'm planning on streaming every weekend. It's normally going to be on a Saturday, but yesterday it or t next week it will be on a Sunday. Just FYI, uh, because I have a thing on a Saturday and. Um, so I hope, oh my gosh, we got our boxes. Holy fuzzy cats. We did the thing. We got the boxes. Oh, now life is better. Now we can actually make a building train. It's great. And now we can actually have coal on the bus. That's great too. So this is what these other thingies are for. These are for the different chests. First, I like to make requester chests because we need the most of those, then green ones. And then we almost never use, um, the purple chests. And the reason for that is it just empties into another chest. The reason for using those is a place where you have the building train where it unloads into, it unloads garbage. So basically we want to get it out of these chests and we'll put it in storage and that's just fine. Okay, we have stuff now. Um, now I want to show you how to set up the, actually we have exactly three, this is perfect. How to set up the belts, right? So what we want to do here is we want to put down a buffer chest on these. Okay. Cause what we're going to do is this, we are going to request stuff from the network, but what we're going to do is make that request higher than what's in the box from this little guy. So this guy does not add more. So why don't we request 200, undergroundies or you, I mean, you can do 5,000 undergroundies. I mean, if you want to just recycle all of them, let's do 500 undergroundies. Okay. That's the way you work these things. You put more than is requested by the thingy. So let's just do 500 splitters. And what that's going to do is that's going to recycle these items from the, um, the storage chest, you'll see every now and again, like there are some splitters. Okay. There's splitters coming in. It's like, okay, we see you want some, um, this one, since we're no longer making these, I'm going to put this down to like 200. Okay. And then, but we're going to request 2000 of them, I think. And that way we can store it in these chests instead of, so it's kind of like a recycly chest. It's really good for that. Now, have we gotten blue belts? We haven't gotten them yet, but these chests eventually will also be buffer chests. Um, so yeah, that's, that's very important. That's a very important thing. Let's grab these. Uh, we don't have any purple chests yet. These, yeah, they are stealing all the red circuits, which is not really a very ideal. What we can do though, is what, um, is make these chests up here. We're going to copy this chest. I think we can just fast replace it or can I shift click it? Is that possible? Maybe I just need to have a new upgrade planner that is from this to purple. Maybe I need to do that. I don't know. Is it hello? Oh, oh, they're yellow. Oh, that's not good. I don't want yellow there. No. Okay, from yellow to pur to purple. Yep, that's what we want to do right there. Oh, wrong one. There we go. That's what we wanted. Now we can delete this entire upgrade planner. I never really need. Um, I need one of those. Um, so anyway, let's see. So, so that's that and buffer chest wise, if we want to get faster stuff, I don't actually think we need a lot of stuff because right now what's going to happen is the building train is now going to get, Oh, look at the coal flowing now. Oh, look at the red chips flowing now. Oh my God. This is exciting. Help, help. This is great. 
This is great. Okay, very cool. And now, yep, we're choked, choked with coal, basically, in red circuits. This is fabulous. Just fabulous. We could uh, upgrade this belt right before the splitter. Oh, whoops. Uh, that one is, yeah. Just want red, please. Not anything else but red, please. Just make sure that, yep, that's good. And this is all red and anyway, so that's nice. Cool. That needs to be upgraded as well. Okay, cool. Very nice. So now all these red circuits are going to go into blue science, which is great. Absolutely great. So now we're even getting the purple chests, which should show up eventually. Uh, well, soon, I guess. Should show up soon. So this factory is really running super nicely. Really running super well. We are getting red chips on the line. This is so good. They aren't going super far along this line, but it's okay. We're doing well. What we can do probably... We might need to upgrade these guys. Actually, they should be okay as long as we have enough power. Let's check our power right now. Oh, we are kind of... Yeah, we're at the limit here. The Well, the accumulators are... Oh no, we're doing good. We're doing well. That is just the daily kind of cycle where we are relying on some accumulators to help us through. And then once we get solar up, the steam engine just drops like crazy. Just drops down. So, yep. Now, um, we need to go ahead and get some requester chests for the solar. That's one important thing that I would like to take care of as well. Because now we can have actual solar production where we ship over the roboports and the substations and stuff like that and don't need to rely on me hand feeding it all the time. So let's see, solar stuff goes here. So let's go ahead and put in these boxes for solar. Uh, we need one for substations. Uh, sure, 50 and then, or actually let's do 100. Okay, and then this one is going to be for roboports. Let's do 20, something like that. I can go ahead and put in six of them. Um, yep, so that we'll just take them. Yep, there we go. We are ready. Now, is this in the logistics network? Yes, it is. So we have a, a the nearest one is over there, and that does cover these chests. So they're not going to be able to get substations right now, but they are going to be able to get the other stuff. I wonder if I should put substations on this line here as well. The, uh... You know, this base, base sushi belt kind of thing. It's not a sushi belt. It's actually one on each side of the uh, thing. But uh, yeah, it's kind of close, isn't it? Um, one of the things that I can do also with the solid fuel is put that onto a train. The solid fuel is a very good fuel source uh, for, for well, for trains. Yes, of course it is. But um it's a thing that usually if we start to have like smelting and other things that are away from the base and they don't trains don't come back to the base, they will still need fuel. So we have to run the fuel out to them. And that is the purpose of having this station right here, the base fuels train station. So this train is like a little mini train. that's going to fill up with fuel and just drop it off at various things. Now it's, it uses the same station as the building train. So this thing is always tuned to ex to request fuel. You'll see the very first thing is, is request for 150 solid fuel. So that's kind of important. But anyway, this looks like it got completely done. I'm very happy about that. So this can be picked up later. Those things are really not important. They're not important enough for me to go and get them, uh, for example. So we're going to leave them where they are and just go and do the rest of our sciency stuff right now. So we do need to get these furnaces made soon. 
I'm not sure if this is a science problem or what kind of an issue this is. What are we, why are we, why is it taking so long to get this science? It's 250 science, so it is a fair bit. Oh, it's probably, it's probably these. Okay, so we're going to request science here. We're going to request uh, per, uh, yellow science. Let's do, I don't know, a thousand. Okay, and then this one is request purple science. Again, a thousand. Let's make sure we have those in red chests. I think we do. I'm not sure though. I keep forgetting that we're like, we were, I, do, I was too lazy to run the belt. So, but yes, they are definitely in. They are connected to the network. So hopefully some bots should be, there we go. The very first one sending stuff over. That's perfect. Um, what we could do is actually, instead of having this like that, we could request them into these chests directly. Um, but I'll just leave it for now. It doesn't really matter. It's okay. So this whole row is going to be purple science, as you can imagine. This row is going to be those furnaces that we that we need. Also, it looks like we're not getting any red chips here. So that is something. Oh, there's one that came down the line. Wow, this is great. Mm. I think what I'm going to do is I would like to upgrade this belt uh, to something red instead. So it's a little bit faster. We get a little bit more agile throughput here. There we go. And yep, just take these there as well. Just do that. Doesn't really matter mostly. It's just faster delivery is what it is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let these blue chips just go down the line there because we're going to need them probably a little bit later so that we can start uh, getting stuff toward the spaceship. So let's go ahead and just um, get that moving. So we need this thing. Yeah, let's go ahead and get these researches for that. This thing, that thing, and then the rocket silo. Okay, we need rocket control units. That makes sense. Uh, and what else? Something else? Hello? I don't know. Why? Oh, that one we got. Yes, that, that. Oh, rocket fuel. Yes, that would be useful if we were making a rocket. Mm. Uh, we're not going to do Covarex, I think, or nuclear power in this run. I'm going to save it for the next series where we're going to do the um, mega base. I think that's a better idea. But I think we've had a really good run right now. Look at this. Oh, yellow science is happening. We're going to happen soon. There we go. It is getting into the box, so that's great. It's getting in there. Yep, one box definitely has a lot more than the other, but it the important part is that it's going to... Oh, it's already getting here. That's good. So they've been delivering for a bit of time now. We could put more cars on this line as well to have a little bit more consistent deliveries. That might be a good idea, actually, to craft some. But it also doesn't really matter that much. But what does matter is let's get these guys working. Let's make these uh, electric furnaces. Now, electric furnaces are really uh, good, but they don't offer any speed benefit or any electricity benefit unless you're running full solar. Um, so you don't really need to change your regular furnaces. I know way in the past people were like, oh, yeah, electric better. Yeah, let's go. But they're not better. Uh, they can have modules, but you have to invest in those modules, and it's very expensive. So none of this is going to get changed. These are these are very efficient right now, and if we do moduled smelting, it is going to be in a place uh, in an outpost, right? So what what's what's missing here? We need all oh, red circuits. Yeah, mm -hmm. that would be a thing. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to steal these red circuits. Oh, and I'm stealing all kinds of junk. No, unhappy. I was going to put these things in the thing. And I'm going to just distribute these red circuits to these machines. So that we can get some of these made 
uh, so that once the production science finishes, we're going to have stuff on the line to grab. Let's go ahead and take off that there. We already have some modules, which is nice, but again, we are really suffering for the red circuits, so that's not ideal. Uh, what else can we do with the red circuits? What can we do with those red circuits? What is going on now with the red circuits? Um, okay, let's, let's go ahead and get the green circuits in here faster. Um, maybe we need to, oh, looks like, looks like we are having some copper issues, maybe? Also, I don't know why that is, that was probably a mistake there, I think. And, um, looks like this copper is not completely full. Is there a reason for that? It looks like, I don't know what, what happened. Maybe it was a thing with a train. Might have been a thing with a train. All right. We have now gotten the things. Let's go ahead and make this purple science. These have tons of machines and they have stuff. What else are you looking for, folks? Railroad tracks. Why are we not getting railroad tracks? Because, oh my god, what a stupid problem. Anyway, we're going to have plenty of railroad tracks in just a second. This is, um, we're going to get it. It's going to be fine. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Getting some railroad tracks on the line here. I want to get those tracks down to the, the end because they got all the stuff. We have everything. But all these other, these first machines are just taking it. You know what? I'm just going to put in the real tracks I have. Put them into these machines. There we go. So now these are actually working on purple science. So this is great. So we can't get speed module three until we actually get purple science, which is 300 packs. We've got 300, 300, that's 600, 900. Uh, 1,200, and then 2,200 science packs needed. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, I hope, but we'll see how those red circuits hold up. We might have to just steal stuff and give them to these machines here because it is a bit iffy, uh, the production of them. Wow, they are just not even getting down here, are they? Like, why? Where, why are they stopped? What is going on? There's just very few that get to this section. Half of them go here to robots. We don't actually need them in robots, really. We could cut them off from robots because we don't really need much for robots. Um, but yeah, they are not... It's not going very quickly here, and I'm kind of, like, surprised about that. This is robots here. So I'm going to cut them off right here. There we go. And so more will go down the line. Yep, and they'll end up, all the rest of those will go here, which is nice. So, but that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.